where mensch is, was er ist. Do you guys know what it means? Or which language it is in? German, German, German. right? It means a man is what he eats. It was an 1860 saying by Ludwig Verbach. He used it to define what a man is. In, th in, in, 18 in 1923, a beef company used a similar logic for an advertising. They said 99% of diseases are caused by the cheap food that we eat. So you are what you eat. That was their slogan. In the 1960s, the hippie movement took the slogan, you are what you eat, to define a healthy living with a holistic macrobiotic food for healthy living. As Kiran was talking about, your mind, body, and then the spirit of the soul, first you need to satisfy the Maslow hierarchy of need, the bottom most, which is your body. Right? You need to satisfy your mind and body, as we call it. But let me separate that out. It's the body, the physical part you need to satisfy. The holistic movement of the hippie movement that you think about, or the alternative medicine that's, that's being practiced right now, it has to satisfy the physical needs and emotional needs. The physical need is a basic need for the body that you need to consume something. What do you do something that is common that every day that you do? Is eat, right? You don't have to go to work. You don't have to have fun every day, but you gotta eat every day, right? So regardless of whether you like it or not, you had to consume the good food. Once you satisfy that need, it helps you move emotionally to the next level. So what do you eat? So you are what you eat, right? There's a good food and there's a bad food. So how do you know which is good and which is bad, right? If you look at the popular items, let's take the popular items right now. You eat pizza, hot dogs, burgers, right? pastas, Chinese takeout, right? pancakes with bacon mm -hmm. and sausage, mm -hmm. the steaks, nachos, ice cream, right? chocolate chip cookies. Are these good for you? <laughs> no? You may think it's good for you, but somewhere in there, <laughs> you feel that it's a guilty pleasure, right? If you think the latter, it is correct. Okay? You can indulge on it, but that's not your staple food. There are so many things bad about it. By the end of this talk, you're going to know what is bad in there. Okay? I'm not going to tell the bad foods. I just gave you a highlight of the bad foods. I'm going to tell you what is a good food. Okay? The good food is the one which makes your heart healthy. Right? It makes your brain think more, don't have depression or mood swings, right? And it makes your stomach feel okay, right? You don't have stomach cramps or digestion problems. And it's also good that you don't see internally your blood circulates well, you don't have high cholesterol, you basically feel good with your tissues and the bones, you don't have any stress issues there whether mentally or physically. So it's a good food. How do you get all these good things into you? Right. A good food, as I mentioned, it has to have all these features, physically and emotionally. There are basic food groups, as you know. I'm going to talk about it a little differently. What are the good, what is good? We eat fat, we eat carbohydrates, right. we eat protein. Right. All these, basically on these three levels, I'm going to talk about what is good for you. But apart from that, whenever we think of good food, everyone thinks about natural or organic, unprocessed, right? raw food. I'm not talking about meat here. I'm talking about raw vegetables. You can eat raw food, like fish, and it's good in itself on a different level. I'm going to come to that protein level. But any living natural food, what is good about it? Can anyone say? Why is natural food good? Exactly, that's the one. I think you read my speech. <laughs> okay, it has food enzymes. What is it good for? What is the food enzyme good for? Okay, I don't know. I think you saw my speech. Okay, digestion. Probably read the book from Jillian. Uh, no? Okay. So it's good for digestion, okay, and metabolism. The food enzymes are, you have nutrients, you have vitamins, 
And minerals in the, in the natural food, in the natural state, they don't change. That's why natural food is good. But you can go to the organic side if you want it, but it, it's, it's not natural. You can have natural organic, but you can have processed na organic food too. But you get the good things in organic because you don't get toxic chemicals. Okay. That's the only advantage. You can skip that if you, if you don't care about it. But the other part is the unprocessed food. Why is it good? Because you don't refine the food. Y you don't directly give a jolt, like Coca-Cola, for example. Right? It gives you a jolt. It's good for you th for the moment. It has caffeine and other stuff. But if you take the carbohydrates, the good carbohydrates, good carbs, instead of refined sugar, natural sugar, which is in fruits and vegetables, what happens is it metabolizes slowly and easily. You don't want it everything getting metabolized immediately. So what happens is you feel good over a long period of time, and you get energy over a long period of time. You don't get depression. You don't get mood swings. You feel good about yourself. The fats, the good fats are, it's a bad name. Fats have a bad name, right? By the meaning of fats, you think it's fatty. But you need fat, a little bit of fat in you. These are called the essential fatty acids. The EFAs are there in the avocados, the fish, the meat, some of the meat products. Is that good in nuts? So you can eat. The fat is not good. The fat is not bad. It's good for you. So you've got to be consuming good fat. You know, so some people call it the thin, not the fat. Okay. <laughs> so you need to, in the end, I just want to throw up this challenge. The reason I was thinking along this line is because I suddenly realized, or rather slowly realized, that my cholesterol has been going up. Okay. So I need to do something drastic. So what I decided is I'm not going to, I'm going to do something which I can follow through. So I'm going to stop eating meat for some time. When I say meat, I'm going to be okay with lean meat, but not, I'm going to eat fish, but I'm not going to eat any other dark meat, which is with pure fat. That animal fat is required, but not as much as you need. You can get it from your fruits and grains and vegetables. Okay. So I'm going to try that for the next six months. So I'm going to throw a challenge. If anyone wants me to join in that, please do so. You know, you can talk to me after the meeting. And I we hope to see you in six months for my final speech or the next one. We'll see. I'll give my results. Okay? Appreciate it. Thank you.